The source of the image isn't relevant to the process, okay? In other words, I could take a digital picture, I could scan a picture, someone can email me a picture, I could just type out a poem in Microsoft Word, it doesn't matter. As long as I can print the picture on a regular inkjet printer, okay, and print onto this special paper, okay, I could put it onto a piece of crystal and make a crystal keepsake. Because I'm making a crystal of this size, I was able to print four up on the piece of paper. So I'm just going to cut that out because I'm making one at a time. And I'm just going to place that down on the machine here. Now I'm going to take some of my special crystal gel and I'm going to apply a little bit down on the piece of paper like that. Then I'm going to take the crystal, lower it down, and I'm just going to go in circles just to get that to spread evenly. Now this is a UV light box, but we have a regular light in here as well. This light allows me to make sure that it's registered properly and make sure that that gel is spread out evenly. The timer's set for 80 seconds. I'm going to close the machine, and now the process starts. Now, the piece that I'm making now, which is this piece here, has a cost, a wholesale cost of $2.60. It ships in a, in a gift box. Every piece that you see on the table ships in its own custom gift box. Each sheet of paper costs a dollar. As I mentioned earlier, I printed four up for this piece of crystal. So I have a quarter into the crystal. I have about 30 cents worth of this and I have a few cents in regular inkjet ink. It makes the total cost of this piece $3.25. These will retail between $10 and $25, depending on the market that you're in. Just to give you an example of that, a wedding photographer is gonna sell a piece like this for let's say $125. In a mall, this would sell for about $60. So there's a very wide range uh, as to the retail selling prices, but the margins are very, very high, okay? Now we introduced this product about a year ago into a variety of different industries, photography, awards, souvenirs, gift, and it's really done well across the gamut. There's the buzzer on the machine, the 80 seconds has expired, so I'm just going to pull this out so I can work on top of the machine. I'm just going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol, spray it on the paper towel and clean it up a little bit. Now all I need to do now is trim it and clean it. All the crystal you see on the table has a beveled edge. So I'm going to take my straight razor here and just use the bevel as a guide. And if you use a nice sharp blade, it just kind of flows along the edge of the piece of crystal. Now this looks pretty good as it is, but the cool part about this process is we have a protective film on the back at this point. The easiest way to get that off is with a piece of scotch tape. So I'm just going to tape the corner and I'm just going to pull back a little bit and clear that piece of film off the back of the piece of crystal. Okay, and as I pull it back, I reveal that nice finished piece of crystal. This would be ready to go into the box now and sell it. If the piece has a base, it'll be in the box, but it won't be attached. It'll actually be shrink wrapped to the piece of crystal. After we put the image on the piece of crystal, we're gonna set the base over here, and then we're gonna take a little bit of gel. It's actually a different type of gel, which we don't have here, and I'm gonna dab a little bit on here, spread that out. We set that up here, and we have a hood that goes over the top. This hood sits up here, which activates a different UV light, which goes for about 40 seconds, and that'll permanently adhere the base to the piece of crystal. Okay, and then we have our completed piece. The package that we're offering includes the unit itself. It includes an assortment of 63 blanks. It includes 36 pieces of the large crystals, a dozen ornaments, 15 charms, and all the other supplies that you need to fulfill the process. Well, this crystal is new and it's exciting, and it's really not out there. This is still very much a ground floor opportunity. Uh, my name is Joe Rooney. I'm from Dobbs Ferry, New York. I have a company called Rooney Tunes Entertainment. I've been in business for over 24 years. We do DJ, we do photography, um, a lot of add-on features that we do as far as working with QLT Cassie, uh, doing keychains, magnets, tote bags, t-shirts, and the new crystal imaging. Basically, since I started doing all the after aftermarket items, I've been dealing with them. I met Ken, the owner, a number of years back. He was a gentleman, and everybody that I deal with down at, at QLT Cassie is, is always very helpful, even at last minute items, anything I need. The prices are very reasonable, and I don't really mark up my items a lot, uh, but enough to cover my expenses and my labor and you know whatever I lay out. So you know the prices that they charge are very reasonable you know, across the board. The most popular item we do is the photo booth. 
which we have cardboard frames that we uh, get from the gentleman here. And we also do now the crystal imaging where we take the picture and we apply it with a special machine onto the crystal pieces. We do that a lot for awards. We do it for a lot of the local fire departments who use it um, as you know firemen of the year. We do it for communions where we do like we use the book and we'll have the, the Lord's Prayer on one side and we'll have the picture of the child on the other side. So it's, there's a lot of new things that they come out with and every time they come out with something new I'm always pretty much like the first on the block to try it out. Yeah, I've been in business for about 24 years. I started out with a band. I sing and play guitar and piano. And then when the market turned to DJs, we started doing DJs. And we do a lot of digital photography. Uh, we do karaoke. We do video slideshows. Um, we do all the, the big things. It's actually very simple because a lot of times when they sell a product, they will supply the templates for it through Photoshop or one of their programs. So it's a matter of really just dragging and dropping and, uh, and printing out the, the, uh, the project. So it's actually pretty easy. The staff that they have is very knowledgeable, they're very friendly, they're very accommodating, and if you go in there and tell them you have a certain budget that you want to set, uh, spend, they will take that and they'll, they'll work with you as far as what kind of product to start you out with. And you could always grow from there, which is what I pretty much did with them.